is uh, actually resulted in a 3-4 delay and a bang at the fourth when it finally got over the delay. And uh, basically what it was is it, it was a low fluid condition and that resulted as uh, from this uh, leak in the extension housing. Uh, the, the extension housing cracked. Now you can see we have this running. You could see the fluid pouring out of there. That's a pretty bad leak. And that's uh, C5 fluid uh, that's leaking there. So uh, the end result was the 3-4 uh, delay bang at the 4th uh, due to this leak. Um, this is not an uncommon situation in these. Uh, obviously, we have situations where, of course, bad uh, universal joints can cause issues, uh, drive shafts that are uh, not balanced or out of, out of balance, uh, vibrating like a son of a gun. Um, any, any of those issues uh, can put a crack in the extension housing. There's also a lot of stress on the extension housing uh, because the transfer case is hanging on to it. And uh, then you've, you've got some people that go ahead and put a lift kit in here. Uh, sometimes, you know, maybe their drive shaft inclination is too severe or they didn't raise other components to go along with the lift kit. It, uh, obviously, they should pay attention to that. Uh, not too worried about if it's done professionally, but, you know, if somebody's doing it on their own, maybe they're not paying attention to uh, every aspect of what it takes to put a lift kit in. But I'm not going to get into all of that here. I mean, it, obviously, it puts a lot of downward force on the, on the extension housing because the transfer case is actually, uh, uh, you know, applying torque to it or, or stress, let's call it. So, there are things that you can do to help prevent this. One, of course, make sure we have no drive shaft issues. Uh, the other is to make sure that uh, if it is lifted, that it's lifted correctly. Um, and we also have what we call insurance, a device such as this. Uh, and there are a number of them out there. All you have to do is, is Google this, uh, you know, as far as uh, uh, Allison 1000 uh, extension housing supports. And you'll come up with companies that make a number of different devices. Uh, one of the ones we kind of liked the best uh, was this one here. And uh, this uh, seems to do, it's a very simple installation. Uh, you know, as you can see, it's using uh, uh, an existing uh, attachment points. Very simple to put in. And uh, what this does is it creates a, a, a strength point. Uh, between a transmission and a transfer case to take some of that stress off the extension housing. So this works actually quite well. Thank you for watching. For all confirmed fix videos and unlimited technical support, become an ATSG member, your transmission tech solution. Click the membership link below.